talk of the day today. What's happened to CSL in focus? Uh, CSL saying it now expects a higher foreign exchange headwind in the fiscal year ahead between with forecasts between $230 and $250 million, up on the $175 million signalled at uh, the time of its first half results in February. Uh, looking further ahead, the outlook a bit more rosy with a higher net profit in fiscal 24 preliminary forecast. Uh, 24 could be as high as $3 billion, which would represent 18% growth. Um, shares have taken an absolute shellacking today. Um, just at the time, uh, Andrew Weiler, when everyone on the charts has been talking about CSL forming a new base around that 310 level, was it going to be the next leap up, a break out of its cycle between 280 and 310 and shoot the lights out? Um, what a what a, a bunch of downers they were with the news today. What do you think of it? Yeah, Koshi. I mean, certainly the chart was trying to improve, but uh, obviously the chart can't tell you uh, what uh, the impact of the Aussie dollar was going to have on their earnings. And as we've seen today, shares down about seven odd percent. It's just looking before. Prior to today's announcement, over the last three months, um, average EPS expectations had grown by 3%. So that's sort of interesting in itself that uh, analysts didn't pick up that move in the dollar and what the impact was going to be. Bottom line, it's a quality business, but always hostage to what's going to be happening with currency. If you could be sort of getting it in that 250, 260, ideally, that's Andrew the miserable, Andrew, the realistic, there'll probably be another couple of days of, uh, of weakness as uh, EPS um, earnings downgrades come through. And if you can get it to 60s, 270s, I'd be all over this one like a cheap suit. It is a quality business under pressure in the short term, but long term, uh, what's it delivered long term? So over the last five years, it's returned around 11.5% per annum. Yeah. Um, it's a really good business. So it's 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 a watch, but uh, come back to me in a couple of days' time. Two fifty to two seventy. That's uh, the buy range. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Henry? Is is this a buying opportunity? Um, I think, as Andrew rightly points out, it probably is. But it takes a few days to wash through with some broker downgrades to come. The, the problem, I guess, is that CSL always upgrades. It never disappoints. Right. Um, and this time it has disappointed. And, and I think one of the keys is the US is not having the recession. Hmm. Now, you've still got 3.7% unemployment in the US, which is pretty low considering. And a lot of their uh, profitability from the plasma division uh, comes from the donate. I was going to say donations, but not donations. Yeah, yeah. They pay people to yeah. give blood in the States. They've got a, a massive plasma collection business there. Um, and they pay people in the US. Now, when the economy is going well, to entice more people, you have to pay them more money. And of course, you've got inflationary pressures in terms of labor costs and wage costs. You've got to entice those. Margins have been falling in that business, which had been a really good business, and it's still the core of CSL. Uh, but that has been under pressure. And when you've got the US still going gangbusters, really, in some mm. respects. Well, that inflation figure overnight was Yeah, I mean, we're, that's where, we're a rounding error mm. away now, really, from 2 to 3% in terms, of, uh, in terms of the target. So CSL stumbled. Uh, I don't think it's falling into a heap. But as Andrew says, let's wait a couple of days, see where it settles. But around 275, I mean, it's probably great buying there. But certainly, you know, the foreign currency shouldn't come as a big surprise. I mean, no. it's not, I mean, FX trades 24 hours a day, seven days a week, pretty much. So yeah. we, you can factor that in. But I think what is a bigger surprise is the pressures on margins in that plasma business in the US, which has seen the increasing costs of getting people across the line to donate blood, yeah. right, sell blood, yeah. um, as opposed to what happened before COVID. And even you know the COVID disruption we saw when people couldn't get out and donate uh, is obviously waned. But those yeah. cost pressures are still there. Uh, can we bring up the five-year chart again? Because um, just uh, uh, Mark Morland from Team Invest, uh, big supporter of CSL, that's sort of in their yep. wheelhouse, a company like this. But as he always said, it always comes back to that 250, 260. And you look at over five years, you know, it gets up to the 300, 310. There are times every year 
that it pulls back to these levels, doesn't it? And there are presents times. a buying opportunity. And there are times when it presents a buying opportunity. As I say, I mean, they've got a new CEO <laughs> as well, so you've got to feel a bit sorry for him. Yeah. Because the last CEO delivered surprise after yeah. surprise after surprise to the upside. Is he cleaning out though? Um, I don't think this is a clean out, to be right. honest. I think this is, you know, but they bought a big business with the Vifor business yeah. in Europe. Uh, so obviously that does have some uh, complications as far as foreign exchange goes. But, you know, the, the, the analysts should have factored this in. It's not like yeah. it's a, a new thing right. for them. But I think the plasma collection business in the U.S. is slightly worrying. I think I read that the, the margins have gone down from 57 percent to around 50 percent. Right. So it's still a great business. Right. Yeah, and it's yeah. still a great company with great management. But you can see that um, if, if the U.S. Yep. is still going gangbusters, it is harder to get people to uh, to give sell mm. their blood. And it is amazing the difference between the Australian economy and the US economy. Inflation coming down, likely the end of the interest rate cycle because they're not, don't have a Treasury Department handing out wage rises. No. Like, like Oprah, a uh, wage rise for you and a wage rise for you and a wage... And then they blame the Reserve Bank for putting up interest rates because inflation is sticky because of yeah. wage rises. I know, I know, it's crazy. And it is And we will go into a recession. I know. Well, I, I suspect we will be a shallow one. Yeah. Hopefully. hopefully. But anyway, we'll see. It's a lot but it's time. ironic that it's National Blood Donation Day today as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. You're kidding <laughs> me. Bit of irony there. Oh, okay. 